I will show you how to make this freeze frame transition in Premiere Pro. And if you watch until the end, you'll get this free blueprint. So right now, I want to transition to the second clip in the timeline. So position the player at the cut. And then right click on the second clip and then select Insert Frame Hold Segment. This will freeze the first frame of the clip. Now simply drag this frozen frame above the first widow. Make sure the end of both clips align with each other. And also adjust its duration to about one second. And then remove the scab from the clips. Now move the player above the frozen clip and select it and then go to effects and draws. Now because we only want the person to move, we need to create a mask. So under opacity, click on the pen tool and then go to the preview screen. Now create a mask around your person by left clicking on your mouse and connect the first and last dot together to create a complete mask. Now we only have the person on this layer. And because we want the animation to end up in the current spot, we need to create a keyframe. So make sure the frozen layer is selected and then go to effects and draws and click on stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe. And then move this keyframe to the end of the clip. And this make so that the person aligns perfectly with the start of the second video. Now move roughly to the beginning of the clip and select it. And in effects and draws, use the position values to move the person off screen. You can choose which direction you want, up or down, left or right, it doesn't matter. And we have now created this effect, but if it moves too slow, then you can simply move the first keyframe closer to the second one. And if you want to smoothen out the animation, then you can select both keyframes, then right click, temporal interpolation, ease in, and then do the same thing and select ease out. And this is how it looks now. And if you want even more control, then you can click on this arrow next to position to expand the velocity settings. And then make sure to join my Discord server with the link in the description. And then click on the motion text to show these blue handles. And then you can simply move them around. And this is the final effect. And here is the blueprint. Subscribe.